I had a uh, conversation with an acquaintance of mine just a couple weeks ago, and um, she was telling me about the the family business, and this family business has been in the family for um, three generations. So this owner that recently retri retired was the third generation owner in this business. And as we were talking about what transpired, basically what happened in the last two years, the owner decided that it was time to retire. The owner didn't know what the business value was worth, didn't have any succession plan in place, didn't know who uh, you know, the business would be sold to. And um, she became pretty frustrated because she didn't know, you know what that next step was. And because she waited until the very, very end, until she was pretty much done anyways, you know, wanted to retire, wanted to move on, she didn't give herself enough time to find that right buyer and have the business continue. And what was so sad about it to me is that this had been in the family for three generations and the value when this third generation owner retired was zero. Zero dollars. Three generations of work and blood and sweat and tears into this business and there was nothing to show for it at the end. They literally just closed the doors, closed the books and called it quits. Hi there, my name is Ashley Michike. I'm the CEO of True North Retirement Advisors, where we specialize in retirement planning for business owners. And today I'm talking about something that is near and dear to the retirement planning process, and that is figuring out the value for your business. There was a study done by Ibis World that said that only 2%, 2%, of business owners know the value of their business. So it's probably, if there's 100 people who watch this video, uh, two of you know your business value and one of you is probably retiring next week, which is the only reason why you know the value of your business. You know, it's actually kind of crazy to think about, right? We start planning for our retirement. A lot of us who are good planners will start planning for retirement in our early 20s. And so you could spend decades planning for your retirement, but when you're a business owner and you don't know the value of your business, that's probably your largest asset. And so if you don't know the value of your business, you're really creating this whole question mark or a cloud over that particular asset uh, and that particular aspect of your net worth, which is a big, big problem. This is a two part video. Um, next video, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna do a sample valuation where I'm gonna walk you through what those eight pieces of information are, which by the way, you can probably get, you already have readily available um, with your tax return from last year and some pretty basic bookkeeping numbers. Business valuations, they don't have to take months and pouring over all these documents and all this time and all this money to get a valuation. Let's talk about some high level, really, really important key reasons, at least from a retirement planning perspective and you know, maximizing the value of your business from that perspective, reasons why you would want to do evaluation and not put it off any longer. Reason number one is of course the retirement planning aspect. Your business is most likely your largest asset. If a client comes into our office and you know we're, we're doing all of this um, deep dive into the investment strategy and the asset allocation and making sure that the stock, bonds, cash mix, all of that is right where it should be. And then we have this huge hole over here that represents the largest asset where we're just like, eh, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out later. Let, let's, uh, let's just move on. And so that's what a lot of planning involves when you don't know the value of that asset. So reason number two would be succession planning. And this is related to the retirement planning piece because again, it, it, it deals with once you know the value of your business, then you can make a plan, not just your, with your assets, but how you want to transition and who that 
uh, buyer or buyers are. And the last reason is to provide protection for your family. I had a really sad story a number of years ago, a client who, um, I was the 401k consultant for um, the, their 401k plan, and very suddenly the owner of the business had a heart attack and he died. None of his other family members were involved in the business. He kind of did everything. He had maybe 30 or 40 employees. And um, so when that happened, the business was, he, he, he didn't do any planning whatsoever. There was no insurance, there was nothing. And they kind of hobbled along for two or three years before they finally sold, uh, sold, sold, <laughs> sold the business to a competitor of theirs, um, they were a manufacturing business, so they sold it to a competitor of theirs on the East Coast. And the incredibly sad thing that happened is that um, they sold it at a pretty significant discount. So um, the owner's wife uh, got quite a bit less than what they were really hoping for. Guess what? All of a sudden, they didn't need the jobs and the office and all these other functions that were duplicate in this other country, in this other company. So a lot of the workers uh, here in Oregon who were working at that company uh, were laid off and had to go find new careers. And, and uh, I remember a couple of these people had worked there for decades. So it was a really sad situation because that business owner didn't take the necessary steps to plan for a catastrophe and to protect his family to ensure that there was continuity in the business it led to disaster and the business hobbled along for a few years uh, a, com a competitor swooped in and got the business for an incredibly low price because they were desperate to sell at the time and that was that this is really, really important to us. We want our business owner clients, all of them, to understand the value of your business so that you can then take the next necessary steps um, to plan for your retirement, plan for your succession and the continuity of your business and protect your family. You wouldn't start planning for your retirement six months or a year before you retire, so don't put off the planning of your business and the valuation and your business exit six months or a year before you decide to retire. Stay tuned, in two weeks I'm gonna be posting part two where we're gonna walk through the steps and I'm gonna show you in five minutes how you can ballpark value your business to a pretty good, good number. If you want to jump ahead and uh, if you're like that A-plus student who reads the book before everybody else does, be my guest. You can go ahead and start your business valuation today and I will include a link below. Are you watching? I'm not sure. But if you comment below, like, subscribe to our channel, I will know that another human being has seen this video. And your comments, oh man, I would love comments. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, uh, what information would be relevant for you in valuing your business. Uh, what can I talk about that might be helpful for you? So uh, otherwise it's just coming straight out of here and there's not much going on there. So anyways, if you could please like, subscribe, and comment comment on this video. I would much, much love to you for doing that. Thanks again for watching and uh, I'll see you next time for part two. <laughs> Where we specialize in business and exit. No, that's not it. Okay. Give that thumbs up uh, for, okay, let's start over. That was bad.